Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is day one, first day of Ford Takeover 2023 and we have our boosted Mustang out here built by HVR. Guys, come check them out. But we are here at the Horsepower Factory, which is right down the road from HVR. But we have the ESS on, but let's do a dyno pull because I know that we're all gonna be anxious. I especially am. What is this thing going to make? A 93 pump gas for 120 millimeter pulley. We got headers, full exhaust the whole nine yards i'm curious we're going to find out in this video what this thing is going to lay down to the rear wheels guys tuned by wingard performance we are here before the big show so people are going to be showing up in mass quantities here in the next few minutes i think we're going to make at least 680 but anything north of that i will be thrilled what do you think it's going to make normally 120 we see a lot of high sixes taking on 700 but it does feel so good to be back in a boosted mustang and this thing is spicy ken the man to help build the car yes sir all right we got exhaust we got the 120 pulley mm -hmm. 93 pump gas mm -hmm. we did splash it a little bit just to keep the 93 safe Okay. It is still 93. Matters, so. It's still 93 timing, so it's a 93 yeah, exactly. tune. That's, that's, yeah, I understand. It's still on 90. It's not on a special tune. Yep. So uh, 685. 685. Yeah. I'm good with that. We got Ken from HBR. We got his fresh build. He's now on a fuel system. Got the ESS. Eventually, he's going to pull it down. I got Chris back here with the Vortec. And hey, Colton. Show me your car. What? Let's see your car. Probably gonna get my car wrapped eventually. Yes. Absolutely. And this is the man from Tactical Wraps. He's got a beautiful wrap on here. He's going to steal all of the attention because this color is, I'm a little bit jealous, honestly, but here we go. Check this out, guys. See how well it comes off a of camera. Oh, it's oh, yeah. kind of coming off. Yeah, it's anyway, yeah, it's, it's highlighter. In yeah, man. In person, it's just freaking fire, but highlighter on his 2022 Mustang with the ESS blower as well. In the Clarksville, Tennessee area, I'll link his information down below, but he's got a new shop and he's doing PPFs, wraps, you name it, he can do it, but this is it. So beautiful freaking color, man. I just, <laughs> every time I see it. It's green right here and it's yellow. Listen, you have to wear sunglasses when you look at this car. It's too bright otherwise. It's absolutely nuts. Let me know what you think about this color down in the comments. I freaking love it. I dig it. All right, guys, we got special treats. Basically, Joel Steele's recipe. I believe that the engine is rated for about 50 pounds of boost. Interesting. It sounds so quiet. Really quiet. The amount of power this thing makes, that's crazy. B-roll, baby. If you get your red card, we could have been at this level by now. I know. Woo. That thing was cursed. I know. I know. This is the next level shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. All right, let's see it. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Are the low mounts? Is it a... Yeah, it's down there. Down there. Oh, I see it. That's okay. a sleeper kit? Oh. Look at that girl right there. Ooh. Little piece of treasure here. Misty Chrome Terminator, guys. Oh, yes, sir. You don't see these every day. They are throwing all the NA cars on the rollers first. Very shortly, we should see what mine does. I'm very excited about what it's going to make. Hopefully 700, but I mean, 680. I'll be happy with that, honestly. Boost is up. Boosted cars are next. Alrighty guys, here we go. Alright, I'm calling it. 687. It's 93 pump. Yeah, so the one with the dyno. Yeah. The one now? The stingy dyno. Apparently I was recording all the time. Yeah, so it is a Mustang dyno. Mustang dyno. Loaded Mustang dyno, so it's gonna steal some power. Maybe, but we shall see. Ooh, look at that. 
They'd never come off the camera that well. It's wheels, bro. That's a good light. Yes, sir. Mustang Dino, all SAE correct numbers. It's hot out here, but it's all SAE. You going in six or seven? Six. Six? Yep. You ain't pulling time. Hopefully not. It, it might. Not too bad. Over 680, I'd be happy, right? Very good. I thought we were pulling to 8,000. What did he stop out? Oh, yeah, you undercut me. Hey, don't be sensitive. Huh? You're pulling timing past 71. You did pull timing. I did pull timing. You made power up to 71 and then it dropped off, so you're pulling timing. On my car, I pulled all the way out to 75. I pulled all the you way You think out. it's a degree or two? Yeah, it's probably a degree or two at the okay. very top. It's not uncommon. All right. Yeah, so we might be pulling a degree or two. But that's up the very tip. You ain't gonna make you ain't gonna make party no more than that. Right, yeah. No, it's fine. It's it's uh one twenty four and ninety three pump gas. <laughs> Look at this. So you saw what was up there, but all of these cars, all the way downhill, pretty big show. You going low boost? Low boost. 30 PSI? 30 PSI. TKM built motor, kind of Jewel Steel's recipe, so I'm told, so we shall see. Will it do 2,500 horsepower? Don't know. All right, look at that. Still got the street exhaust on it, man. That's sick. Yeah. Street car, baby. So for TakeOver 2023, big hit. So this is really, it's, it's been a pleasure to actually see this event grow every year over the past few years. It's just, it went from a lot of people to like a lot of people. And I'm sure that next year is gonna be even more crazy. So the second day at the drag strip, I didn't film a single thing. Honestly, I just wanted to like relax. It was brutally hot and there was a lot of people out there and, uh, and it was just a good time. We had this car in the HPR booth and it was really cool to be able to like shake hands with everybody. So I wanna humbly say thank you so much at this point for 44,000 subscribers. We're aiming for 50K by the end of the year. So guys, if you're still here and you wanna subscribe, I mean, it's free and you can join in the adventure. I really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel grow. I mean, from the depths of my heart, I really wanna say thank you. I mean, it was such a pleasure to be able to just like not film, just sit back, relax, shake hands, get to meet all of you guys out there, all of you in the audience. Audience. such a pleasure to be able to hang out with other enthusiasts out there so anyway God bless every single one of you but this car is really good it's really good I really like the setup I'm really enjoying it and yeah 682 horsepower 500 and I think five pound feet of torque and you yeah, guys it's 93 pump gas we did pull like a degree of timing up top we think so that kind of separated us away from 700 but guys who cares it's 93 pump gas so we want to uh save all the big excitement for you know e85 eventually do the fuel system that will be down the road but for now I honestly feel like this is like the perfect amount of power for the street you get all the cool noises with the ess blower makes a ton of power up top it's kind of the 
Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of deal because it drives around so calmly, but when you get into the throttle, it's so violent. It's really cool. It's a really neat setup. I'm really enjoying it. This is my second time running it. But guys, ESS, you gotta check them out. I mean, you can't you can't really beat it for the money, honestly. But but guys, that's it in a nutshell. 682 horsepower, 505 pound feet of torque, and six gears on a Mustang Dyno. So if we were in seventh gear, the one to one, like you'd play around on the street with, you're gonna definitely be a little bit higher. So we'll call it a good 700, 680 to 700 horsepower car on the 120 millimeter pulley. It's a good street setup. I really am enjoying it. But guys, that's it. So get ready for the next videos to come. Big things coming as always. God bless all of you. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.